Hello, Mr. Kiran Kurwade. Hello. I welcome you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for being here. And I would like you to discuss today on 4D multiple intelligence. Okay. I have heard many of your talks, and this I think is your signature program. Mm -hmm. And uh, I take this opportunity and ask you to kindly elaborate on the same so that it is uh, more easier for our students, undergraduate and postgraduate students, to understand the concept okay. and apply it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. You yourself, you are a professor at one of the premium colleges and you have an experience of, you know, uh, about the quest, uh, quite prevalent among the students regarding their journey, professional journey. And they are yet to take their job, they are yet to embark their uh, career. I empathy them, you know, some souls and uh, many times they get confused right if our discussion could act uh, an insight for them and an eye-opener an eye for them and I think it would be nice isn't it ma'am? definitely thank you ma'am well uh, the 4D uh, intelligence or 4D personality as I already uh, elaborated a lot in my uh, very first book uh, only book release uh, Tonic for Great Life <coughs> now the concept is not new. I mean, uh, understand uh, nothing is new. But however, uh, as time goes, you know, life is continuum and uh, you know, uh, things change a lot. You know, few things change at great speed, few things uh, change. I mean, no noticeable change, they're not. I mean, uh, change doesn't happen at one speed. Uh, do you agree to this, ma'am? Definitely. Yes, ma'am. So there are a few things which change very very fast, for example the technological changes over the period of so many decades, especially with the rise of internet, internet in the last decade, we can even google out, uh, out about God. I mean knowledge is not a crisis today, isn't it? Yes. We are living in uh, information age, a speed age and uh, knowledge is no more a crisis. Today students they can even challenge the faculties, they can google out about any subject and uh, they can challenge any uh, anybody. So knowledge is not a crisis. This information age, in the 21st century, um, I respect the students that uh, they, they are born with uh, a greater IQ. Uh, they are very sharp uh, when it comes to their mind. Uh, but there is a flip side of this information age. I mean, I'm a part of it. They and me, me and you, we are the same. Now, if we all suffer from ADD, most of us, attention deficit disorder, <coughs> right? And uh, there is a uh, great degree of instability uh, when it comes to any walk of life. I mean, I mean, you will agree that you know the rate of crime, the rate of corruption, the entire chaos, the rate of suicide, the rate of uh, divorce, everything is increasing. Right? Uh, one way we say that we are well-informed people, we are knowledgeable people, uh, been there, done that kind of an attitude. We have know it all kind of attitude. I mean, and uh, isn't it a uh, of uh, a contradiction that this so-called person which has uh, developed a bloated head and a lot of ego he says I know everything right even a 10 year old child says that you know I know everything and it has become a kind of a takia kalam when uh, over speaking on phone people tend to say I know I know I know, you know can you carry up right yeah isn't it ma'am what do you think yes definitely. yeah right so with this context with this context that we boast of our knowledge and uh, we don't have peace of mind. We, we don't have peace of mind. Uh, we are living more stressed life. We are living more miserable life, doesn't it? We are having all the possible gadgets of time management, but we don't have time, isn't it? Isn't, isn't it an irony of life now? So with this, what I thought that if we can talk about this various multiple intelligences so that it can help us in multitasking because today's time is about multitasking so definitely we we'll talk about this 4d intelligence and uh, what i'm trying to say is 